Let's talk about Groove Agent 1. Groove Agent 1 is basically an easy to use sample based MPC style virtual drum machine. I've already gone ahead and created a virtual instrument track with Groove Agent 1 loaded up, and I've dropped in a MIDI loop to get us running. However, if you forget how to create an instrument track, let me show you how. Right click on a track and choose Add Track. Add Instrument Track. Choose Groove Agent 1 and then click OK. Since we already have an instrument track, right click and choose Remove Selected Tracks. Click on the Edit Instrument icon in the inspector. Groove Agent 1 will appear. Press play on the transport and let's listen to what we have loaded up. Not a bad groove. Our MIDI file is playing Groove Agent 1 samples. Press stop and let's reset Groove Agent 1 so that there are no sounds in it. Click on the reset button. Notice nothing happens. This is because it's locked. You can unlock it by holding down shift and then pressing reset. It now turns red. You have to hold down shift as a safety precaution, just in case you erase all your hard work you've done with a sloppy mouse movement. Now that the reset button is red, click it again. You'll notice that all the sounds disappear from the pads below. So basically, we're starting from scratch. Press play on the transport. Our MIDI file is still sending data to Groove Agent 1, but since there are no sounds loaded, it has nothing to play. Notice that the pad lights up indicating that MIDI notes are being sent to the pads. Also notice that every pad has its own MIDI note assignment. Click stop on the transport. If you right click on the pads, you can reassign the MIDI notes. Chances are you won't ever have to reassign MIDI notes to the pads, but it's there if you need it. Now let's load in a preset and get some sounds back in. Click in the preset window and choose the preset called DNB. All you have to do is click once and wait for the samples to load into the pads. It may take a second or two. Click on the pads and listen to the sounds that are loaded in. If you click at the bottom of each pad, you get a quiet sound. And if you click higher up on the pad, it gets louder. If you just want to hear all the pads at maximum volume, press the VMAX button at the top right. When you're setting up your sounds, it's good to leave this on so you can quickly find the right sounds and edit them without worrying if you can hear them or not because of where you pressed on the pad. Above the pads are the groups. You have more than just 16 pads. You have eight groups of 16 pads. That's a lot of samples you can drop into Groove Agent 1. The red outline around the groups indicates that there are samples assigned to pads in the group. Our MIDI file uses the pads in groups three. So if you want to move things around in this tutorial, try using the other groups so it doesn't mess things up. To add more samples to the pads, you can drag and drop them in from just about anywhere. From the project page, regions from the sample editor, the audio part editor, and the media bay. Let's show you how to do it from the media bay. Open media bay from the media menu. Let's show just audio files and then only drum sounds. Now drag the audio file right onto an empty pad. The pad will now have a name at the bottom. This is the name of the sound you just dragged in. If the name was really long, like in my case, it'll be shortened. You can pick up the sound and move it to another pad. To move the sound to a new pad, drag and move your mouse to the new group. Groove Agent 1 will switch groups so that you can drop it in on a pad. Let's go back to group 5. 
there's a shaker sound and a rim shot sound at the lower right here. Let's swap them by dragging one sample over to the other pad. If you want to swap MIDI note assignments at the same time, you can hold down shift after you drag the samples, but before you let go. That almost covers all of the features on the right side of Groove Agent 1. We still need to discuss layering, but that'll be soon. Now, let's look at the left side of Groove Agent 1 in the next video.